What's going on guys? For those who haven't seen me before, my name is Josh and today I'm going to be talking about how to prevent your helium miners from going offline. Now, one problem that's been plaguing a lot of helium miners is randomly going offline. Generally, there are three different reasons why your helium miner may go offline. And the first two reasons are pretty simple. One, the power cable fell out of your helium miner. And two, the helium miner went off the network or lost connection to the internet. Now those are pretty simple problems to diagnose, but a big problem that plagues helium miners, especially minted and rack helium miners, is the SD card slot. Specifically, rack and helium miners, they come with a 32 gigabyte SD card that doesn't have a very good read and write speed. For every block that's being written on the helium blockchain, you have to read and write it currently on the helium miners SD card. As the helium blockchain continues to reach new heights, it's gonna cause the SD card to fill up and also wear out the SD card because you're continuously reading and writing the blockchain onto each one of your helium miners. And that's gonna cause your helium miner to fall behind on the blocks and cause you to go offline. To illustrate this, I'm gonna show you guys my rack miner. Now, this is my personal rack miner right here. And it's been offline for about seven to 10 days. During that time, the sync stats has been completely offline and I haven't mined a single HNT reward from this specific miner. Now it hasn't affected any of my other helium miners and sometimes pushing out an update on the blockchain can cause it to go offline. But since all my other helium miners are currently online and mining, that leads me to think that it's the SD card that has worn out. So the solution to this is upgrading your SD card. Now, what SD card should I be using for my helium miner? I would recommend using a Samsung Pro Endurance 64 gigabyte SD card. The reason why I recommend this specific card is because it was made to be written and read many, many different times without wearing out. So I have right here the SD card that I recommended. This is the micro SD card, as well as the adapter that you're gonna need in order to plug it into your computer. And the links to both the SD card and Belina Etcher are down below. The next thing you're gonna need is to go to this link that I have listed. So this is from getminted.com. You're gonna to need to download this firmware right here. Once you are done downloading the firmware, you're gonna to want to unzip it and you're gonna have it right here as an image file. Once you have all that done, you wanna get your helium miner unplugged. On your rack miner, you have a cover underneath your SMA antenna port and you're gonna to want to peel this off. It's just basically glued together on the rack miner. It's right underneath the tape. You're gonna to wanna to pull this out and you're probably gonna need a pair of tweezers in order to pull the SD card out. This is like really, really tightly put into the rack miner. As you can see right here, they give you a Samsung, if I can get it in focus, they give you a Samsung Extreme 32 gigabyte SD card. Not good enough and definitely wore out. Now, once you're done doing all that, you want to open up Belina Etcher and you wanna hit flash from file. And in Flash from File, you want to click on the unzipped firmware that you downloaded off Minted's website. You can see the image file right there. Click it, open, and you're going to select a target. You want to target the new SD card that you bought. So this is the generic multi-card USB device, 64 gigabytes. That's the one you want, and you hit select. And once you're done with that, you want to hit flash. Now, make sure you're flashing the right SD card or storage device. Select that. And once you're done, hit flash. And the software is flashing the new firmware onto your SD card. It's gonna take a couple minutes to get it onto your SD card, but it won't take that long. Now, once you're done flashing the SD card, you're gonna have this screen pop up on Belina Etcher. And just to be sure that you flashed it correctly, you're also gonna have a pop-up like this. You need to format your disk in drive E before you can use it. So basically now Windows can no longer detect your SD card because it's formatted in a different OS. And just to make sure, let's open it up. It doesn't look like the storage device is being detected by the computer, which is good. So that means that we flashed it correctly. Once you are done flashing the firmware onto your new SD card, you wanna unplug it and you wanna plug it into your minted miner. Make sure you plug it in the right orientation so you don't get it stuck in your minted miner. And this is the important part. You're gonna to want to connect the antenna onto your minted miner and you're gonna to wanna to power it. But you're gonna to want to make sure that you're plugging in your ethernet cable onto your minted miner. You're gonna to have to leave it powered on for 30 minutes to an hour. Reason is because it needs to resync back up to the blockchain and initialize this helium miner. If you unplug it, 
while it's syncing up to the blockchain and you know trying to configure this helium miner you're probably going to break your helium miner while you're powering it up and you have it plugged into an ethernet cable and you have the antenna connected make sure you do not unplug the power during the initialization and that's basically it guys hopefully this was helpful for you guys who have helium miners that are offline or are behind on the blockchain if you like what you saw please be sure to like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell for my next video and i'll see you guys real soon take it easy guys